What happens when the world's most powerful semiconductor machinery company finds itself trapped in a billion dollar squeeze, caught in the crossfire of a global tech war? What happens when its largest market is slipping away and its future hangs in the balance? ASML, a Dutch tech titan, faces a financial catastrophe not from within, but from the outside, a clash between superpowers. What does this mean for the future of technology, and how will it impact each of us? In recent months, ASML has been reeling from a series of U.S.-led export restrictions aimed at limiting China's access to advanced chip manufacturing technology. Analysts from Bloomberg forecast that ASML could face up to an $85 billion revenue loss over the next decade if it's unable to sell its extreme ultraviolet lithography machines critical technology that no other company in the world can currently provide to the Chinese market. These restrictions are part of the U.S. strategy to curb China's technological advancements, particularly in the semiconductor sector. Financial Times reports that this isn't merely a financial setback. It's a monumental shift. ASML's former CEO Peter Wenink has publicly stated, our business model depends on unrestricted global trade, and losing China could have long-term implications for innovation in the semiconductor industry. In short, the U.S. export restrictions have thrown a wrench into ASML's growth engine, potentially setting them up for one of the most significant losses in tech history. But this $85 billion is just the beginning. There are ripple effects that could disrupt the entire global tech landscape. U.S.-China tech war puts the world's top chip supplier at risk. ASML is in a position no company envies, stuck in the crossfire of a superpower showdown. According to Nikkei Asia, the U.S. government has classified advanced semiconductors as a strategic priority, effectively weaponizing ASML's technology in the battle for tech dominance. As the world's leading supplier of lithography machines used to produce advanced semiconductors, ASML is indispensable. Yet, by adhering to U.S. export restrictions, ASML risks jeopardizing its relationship with its largest growth market, China. Peter Wenink, ASML's former CEO, has voiced his concerns, stating, Our business is now at the mercy of global political forces. We are a technology company caught in a geopolitical struggle and the consequences could be massive for innovation and supply chains alike. With each passing day, ASML's position grows more precarious. Can ASML navigate this conflict without becoming a casualty? And what does this mean for the broader technology supply chain? Please like and subscribe. Your support helps us grow. Thank you. What's the real impact of U.S. chip curbs? Reports from the Wall Street Journal reveal that ASML has been bracing for a revenue decline in China ever since the U.S. imposed strict export controls. China, which accounted for nearly 15% of ASML's annual revenue in recent years, has been a growth engine for the company, fueling a significant portion of its sales in the advanced DUV and EUV machine segments. With these restrictions, ASML is now projecting a sharp, double-digit revenue decline in the Chinese market. The reality is stark. Losing access to China means more than just a temporary dip in sales. It represents a structural transformation in ASML's revenue model. Industry analysts at McKinsey suggest this drop could force ASML to pivot, reallocating resources and redefining its growth strategy altogether. A projected 50% revenue reduction is daunting for any company, let alone one as integral to global tech infrastructure as ASML. With the restrictions tightening, ASML has been forced to drastically scale back its sales projections. A significant blow to its China revenue stream could mean fewer funds for research and development, which has been a cornerstone of ASML's technological edge. Forbes recently reported that ASML could lose up to $3 billion annually due to these curbs. If ASML cannot recoup these losses in other markets, it may face a prolonged innovation slowdown. 
This isn't just ASML's problem. It's a critical issue for global tech advancements that depend on the company's cutting-edge semiconductor machinery. The question now is whether ASML can find alternative markets to offset this massive cut. Can the company innovate at the same rate without China, or will it start to fall behind? With each new restriction, the pressure on ASML intensifies. Peter Wenink has likened the company's position to walking a tightrope over two competing empires. ASML's status as a neutral player is under threat as both the U.S. and China attempt to secure their own technological advantages. The MIT Technology Review argues that this constant geopolitical pressure could eventually fracture ASML's operations. ASML's future might depend on which way it leans, but how long can it withstand the tension without cracking? China isn't taking these restrictions lying down. Reports from South China Morning Post suggest that Chinese companies have started stockpiling ASML's DUV machines in anticipation of tighter sanctions. By securing as much equipment as possible now, China is preparing for the possibility of being cut off from ASML's technology altogether. A spokesperson from China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology was quoted saying, China will ensure that its semiconductor industry is resilient to external pressures, regardless of current restrictions. This move reflects China's determination to safeguard its chip production capabilities. If they can stockpile enough machines, could they continue chip production long enough to develop a homegrown alternative? A look at China's DUV breakthroughs. China isn't just preparing for the worst. It's doubling down on its own chip-making technology. Reports from China Daily highlight how Chinese companies, including SMIC and Shanghai Microelectronics, have ramped up their DUV lithography research. These advancements mean China could eventually reduce its dependency on ASML, even if it's years away from producing EUV-level technology. China's technological progress is accelerating rapidly, and while it's not yet on par with ASML's machines, the country's investments in R&D could make it a formidable competitor sooner than we expect. By restricting ASML's sales, is the U.S. inadvertently encouraging China to accelerate its semiconductor independence? Dr. Chen Shu, a semiconductor analyst, told Harvard Business Review, economic sanctions often spur innovation. This could be the inflection point where China's chip industry goes into overdrive. Historical examples support this view. When Japan faced similar trade restrictions in the 1980s, it doubled down on technological independence, becoming a powerhouse in electronics. Could China follow the same trajectory, eventually catching up and even surpassing ASML's innovations? ASML has long dominated the lithography sector, but the ongoing tech cold war could weaken its influence. According to The Economist, ASML's monopoly over EUV lithography may be under threat as more countries scramble to localize semiconductor production and avoid reliance on foreign suppliers. This could signal the beginning of a shift in the semiconductor power balance. With countries like Japan and South Korea eyeing domestic production boosts, will ASML's global dominance hold? If ASML exits the Chinese market altogether, the repercussions would extend beyond financial losses. It would shake ASML's standing in the tech world, impact its global partnerships, and possibly open up opportunities for competitors to fill the void in China. Bloomberg analysts suggest that a full exit could knock up to 20% off ASML's market share within Asia. This potential shift in market dynamics could have profound implications for the semiconductor industry worldwide. Europe's position is delicate. The Netherlands, home to ASML, faces increasing pressure from the U.S. to curb ASML's China sales. Yet, as Financial Times points out, European leaders are starting to push back, viewing these U.S.-imposed restrictions as detrimental to their economic interests. Will Europe continue to stand by the U.S., or could we see a move toward a more independent stance? If Europe supports ASML's right to operate freely, it could shift the power dynamics in the tech industry significantly.
ASML's EUV technology represents a barrier China is determined to overcome. Yet, due to U.S. restrictions, EUV machines remain just out of China's reach. Experts from TechCrunch argue that this EUV gap might be the last real hurdle in China's race towards semiconductor self-sufficiency. How long can ASML keep this technological advantage, and will it be enough to stall China's ambitions? ASML now stands at a critical juncture. Balancing innovation, politics, and market pressures is no small feat, and the company's future as a leader in the tech world is far from guaranteed. Will ASML withstand this perfect storm or become a casualty in the world's intensifying tech war? The pressure has reached an unprecedented peak, and the next moves could shape the future of technology worldwide. We're glad you're enjoying this video. Please like and subscribe. Check out another video that is now on your screen.